Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for More Survivalist, and in this case I'm going to be talking about some of these questions that I'm getting regarding gas masks, respirators, face masks, the surgical masks, all these things, what is it that works, what doesn't, what kind of filter do I need, do I even need a mask, what I want to get is a, a military mask like the one you have, where I can get that, those are the questions I've been getting a lot lately. So let's get right to it. First of all, do you even need a mask and such, which is kind of a debatable topic, I don't really see how that is but seems that for a lot of people it's something that is, is still a question well it really depends do you want to get sick from a deadly virus no is it really that deadly of a virus compared to other viruses and other flus or not well you know it's it's not so much a matter of opinion it's a matter of what's going on right now in, in pretty much the entire world and we still don't know for sure lots of things I mean we do know that it's a pretty contagious disease and we do know for sure that some Something like this can be very helpful no doubt about that at least there's no no question about that for me especially because historically speaking yes when there is something deadly floating around in the air and it is floating around in the air when someone is coughing sneezing or even talking next to you there's even been discussions as no you only uh, are contagious when you're uh, asymptomatic uh, when you show symptoms and such no if, if you have the virus and there's any particle of, of, of spit, saliva, anything that ends up in the air and you're unfortunate enough to breathe that in, yes, there's a very good chance you're going to be getting sick and maybe you'll deal with that perfectly well or not. It's just a matter of not only luck, a matter of how old you are, your health overall, uh, if your immune system is working better or worse depending on on your specific case but there's a lot of things that you can perfectly avoid if you're wearing something like this you can most definitely avoid that almost not I mean nothing is 100% but if you are in a place full of people something like this does provide a lot of protection now We've gone through the entire spectrum. We've been told that you don't need a mask, you don't need anything, even masks like this. These are worse than not wearing anything at all. Everything is terrible. There's nothing you can do about it. Don't wear a mask. We've been told that a million times. All of a sudden, yes, you have to wear a mask. Now it's mandatory. So we went from it doesn't work to it's mandatory. Truth is, as always, something in between. And the reality is, yes, a mask can be very helpful if the disease is floating in the air and you happen to be, now maybe in a closed building with people that probably may be sick and you may want to avoid getting sick yourself that is perfectly understandable now the the line now these days is it's mandatory to use something like this either like a surgical mask or one of these uh, cotton or cloth masks that is mandatory you have to use that because uh, you're <laughs> because the government says you have to I'm really not all that happy with it. I think this is kind of stupid. This is a surgical mask. This is intended to cover the mouth of a surgeon while he's operating so as to not spit in the open wound of a, of a patient. There's also the use of this so as to, when you're sick, not coughing and spitting all over the place and somewhat uh, preserving the people around you. I am more of a libertarian myself. I think that everyone should look after themselves and have the, the freedom to choose that. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear a mask now me using something like this that is inferior just to protect people that don't want to protect themselves and don't care to use any of this dude I saw a guy on YouTube begging this was in a in a one of these uh, anti lockdown rallies by the way right I'm, I'm not you know not taking any sides here this guy was asking people to spit and cough in his mouth in his, in his own mouth just to prove the point that the virus was all a hoax so you have all sorts of stupid across the board. I am more of a reasonable, level-headed person. Now this is better than nothing, but it's a lot. Of, it's way inferior to something like this. Just look at the light, how it goes through this thing. And you see people with, with these, or even worse, like the cloth mask they made a, make at home and put like toilet paper in between. That is beyond stupid. I just don't understand that. This is a lot better. This is an FFP3. P3 would be similar to an N99, which is superior to an N95. And you also have the valve. The hated valve, but a lot of... In San Francisco, these are banned because you're, you're contaminating and not looking after other people, which is what matters more than you. Look at the psychology of that. You know, other people people matter more than yourself always that's so stupid now 
How is it that this is worse than something that this that doesn't even have much of a seal around your mouth? There's no way in which this even protects you as well as this armor mask, which achieves a much more efficient seal around your face, both for inhaling and exhaling. So the theory that the valve is bad because it's not sealing and air comes out, air comes out on the sides of this surgical mask as well. All of these cotton masks that you see, none of those have a proper seal. So air does come out all over the place when you're exhaling. But it's a matter of comply, obey, and that sort of thing as we all know. Now, a lot better than e either one of these, and this one is, is actually pretty decent, is an actual you know, mask, an actual respirator that seals properly around your face. This is the one they showed in a previous video. This, if you follow the proper protocol, you shave properly, you will have this um, seal around your mouth and nose and with good filters, everything that you're inhaling is gonna be getting filtered. This is maybe one of the best solutions that you, could, you should go for. Now, filters come in in two types. I mean, filters can filter either uh, particles or gases and vapors. Uh, you have filters that do both of those. So you have filters that only filter particles, filters that only filter um, gases and vapors, and you have filters that filter both of those. These military style uh, nuclear, biological, and, and chemical type of filters will filter both of those. Now, something like this is great, but notice in the picture, it's not protecting the eyes. So you would have to combine this with some sort of eye protection. You have masks from 3M that also cover your eyes, a full face mask instead of a half mask. That is, in my opinion, a little bit better. Now, a lot of people just want to go straight for the military stuff. I would be one of those. I like having a, a military mask because it is definitely intended for more uh, hardcore, heavy duty use and it's um, engineered and made for that sort of thing. So this one is the one I use. It's a gen general service respirator, GSR. It's replacing the older S10 British gas mask, which is this one. A question I get a lot and I intend to answer here. What about those surplus gas masks, Fernando? Which one should I get? Well, I I would talk for two hours about different surplus gas masks. My advice is be very careful with some of these masks because they're very old. And some may be, I mean, have asbestos in their filters or the filter is not compatible with what you want, which is a 40 millimeter cancer filter. Or they may even have some of the valves rotten and they're not sealing properly or they're it cracked and it's gonna be leaking. So there's a number of reasons why surplus masks are really not all that ideal, specifically for this moment in which a lot of crap is floating around and going for fortunes. You want to have something that you know is going to be working. Um, so where do you buy this? Another question I get a lot, eBay. Right now eBay is your best bet. Maybe on Amazon you find something. Prices uh, are crazy. I'll leave some links for some of this stuff I feel is advisable and I feel comfortable for you buying in Amazon there below. But to be honest, prices are very high. If you don't have some of this stuff, you're going to be paying dearly for it. And especially for some of the more uh, later generation, latest gen gas masks, they cost like 400, 500 bucks, easy. So instead of going with, with something like this, get yourself a commercial 3M full face mask. That is maybe one of the best options or something similar along those lines. But new is always gonna be better than surplus, especially now. If you know what you're doing, you can buy a surplus mask and maybe change some of the valves that may be rotting or whatever, or just cracks because of age. But you always, you're gonna be risking that and maybe you end up losing money and not getting a mask that even actually works. This is the one I, I uh, use. And yes, the only disadvantage would be maybe some of the more military type of look that they have. I haven't had a bad experience with that using it since the pandemic started. I mean, I've gone shopping to you know grocery store, the bank, number of things, never had a bad, maybe someone gives me like a, oh, like a nasty look, especially at the beginning when people were not even wearing, uh, wearing these. Now it's you know mandatory in many places, so you see a lot of people with those. And 
Over time, people have been getting better, but usually most of the uh, feedback I got was actually quite positive. Cool mask, where can I get one for myself? How much does it cost? Yes, that's what I should be wearing, or I wish I had one of those. Those, I'm not even kidding. This is exactly word by word the stuff I've been told. So all in all, it's pretty positive, but some people, especially, you know what, if you're working like a, with the public and you don't want to have something that, um, you know, with those um, aesthetics, maybe something like like this it's going more along the lines you combine it with something like like that that's okay now if you want to get one of these eBay will be the way to go now if you go on eBay you'll find the general service respirator as going for quite some money the disadvantage that these have is that these uh, filters are kind of uh, actually well not kind of they're very hard to get and they're expensive man they're not cheap at all so that is something you you want to keep in mind why would you be spending this kind of money for these uh, filters uh you know, yes, for the military, it makes sense for you as a civilian. It, it kind of sucks buying these filters if you don't have some of these already in stock. They last forever. They last for a very long time, especially right now, which they use is mostly filtering particles. Even gas, I still uh, use this, and I cannot, while wearing this, I cannot smell alcohol. I cannot smell any scent, perfume, deodorant. Nothing gets through this thing. I love it. But you can get pretty much the same thing with the first responder respirator, which is this mask that I have here, which is the same thing by Scott. You can go online and you find it for like 150 bucks, give or take, depending on how lucky you are. I'm not gonna be leaving anyone specific because I don't have someone reputable enough to say, go with this guy. You know, unfortunately, that's the way it is. You'll have to risk yeah, whatever it is you find yourself, prices are all over the place, but this would be maybe the one I, I would recommend the most. So it's the same thing, only that it's using 40 millimeter uh, NATO filters, and that's a big advantage. You have everything else, I mean, you can even go for a walk and have a beer, drink it through your, <laughs> through your tube right here, you know, yeah, sir, pour it right there. And yeah, you can do that sort of thing, this is intended so as to be used. It's the same military mask, I mean, it's the same thing. Even the tube, this sort of thing, even though it says first responder respirator, it's a GSR, but just using 40 millimeter filters on the side. And the advantage is you're buying these new. You can buy these brand new from people selling these on, on eBay, and the price is not gonna be nearly as bad, and you're gonna be using 40 millimeter canisters. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video of mine. Remember that I have my books available in Amazon if you go, wanna go check those out. And that's gonna be it. See you in the next video, folks. Have an awesome day. Okay.